Hello guys, in this video we are, not, we are going to talk of problem F, team 4 and uh, white black tree from the code for around 847 that was rated for dev 3. Now this problem is not that tough, however a lot of people actually use complicated uh, tags or terms like uh, central decomposition and stuff. However, my approach is to explain you this very problem with the help of DFS only and that should actually suffice. So let's get started with the problem. So the problem states that Tim Foy came to a famous uh, summer school and found a tree on in vertices. Uh, then they have given the basic definition of a tree and then every vertex on this tree except for C0 is colored white the vertex C0 is colored black now Tim5 wants to color all the vertices of this tree black to do this he performs n-1 operations because there are n nodes one of the node that is C0 is already covered uh, colored black so the remaining n-1 nodes need to be colored black right so during the ith operation he want, uh, he selects the vertex CI this would be the array that would be given to us which is currently white and he paints it blank or paint, uh, paints it black. Uh, let's call the positivity of a tree as the minimum distance between all the pairs of different black vertices in it. So the diff uh, the distance between the vertex V and the vertex U is the number of edges that lie between the vertex V and U. After each operation, we want uh, we want Timfoy or Timfoy wants to know the positivity of the current tree. That basically is the minimum distance between any two uh, vertices that are color colored black. Cool. Then they have given the input. The input would be that the firstly we'll, they'll be talking of the number of test cases then we'll, uh, they'll be giving us n and then the array c so n is the number of nodes then they'll be providing us uh, with firstly they'll be providing us with the uh, node or the node number which is actually colored black then they'll be giving us the remaining n minus uh, one nodes after that they'll be giving us u and vhs so there would be n minus one edges in total because it's a tree and then uh, they'll be providing us with all of these edges right uh, and in the answer we just have to print the number of uh, or the positivity of the tree after all of these operations cool so with that I guess let's move on to the uh, solution so how can we do, do this now there are multiple ways of doing it but let's start with a very simple one right so let's let's say this is the node that I am having that is colored, uh, currently colored black now over here I'll just denote black by red I know that's stupid but I can't actually paint a black thing on a black sh sheet or a black screen so let this be the C0 node I'll consider this as root and then I can make the rest of my tree now let's say this is the rest of my tree now since the uh, edges we are provided with are actually uh, undirectional or we can say bidirectional but in case of a uh, in case of a rooted tree now since I have rooted my tree so I can say that this C0 is the root now this would be having the parent as this node so let's say this is the node 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so the parent of 2 is 1 right the parent of 4 is 2 the parent of let's say 6 is 3 I hope you get the drill so that is one thing I'll have to do right so once I'm done with that what I'll start doing is that on every node so let's say this is the node I've started coloring uh, red uh, black now so this is the node I'm coloring black again again I'll populate it with red so this is the node that I started coloring red. So what I can do is that for each node that would be in its path to its to the root, what I'll do is that I'll I'll uh, update the value. So over here I'll say that do you know what is the nearest node to you that currently has a uh, currently is black. So it'll say no I don't know because initially I'm not I've not populated it right. So I'll say okay that I was just at a distance of one from you. So let's uh, let's assume that. So the distance of black from this node would now be one. What about this? The distance from black node for, uh, for this node would actually uh, would actually be zero because it's directly connected. Then it go it will go over here. It will say that do you know what's the nearest black node to you? It will say yes. Uh, the nearest black node to me is actually myself because I'm myself a black node. So in that case, it will say that okay, I'm coming from a point that is at a distance two from you since you are also black node. So your distance will actually still remain the same. But I can update my answer. So my answer would be the distance it's currently having. And the diff, uh, and the distance of the black node f from this particular point. So the distance would be two over here plus zero. So I'll be updating my answer in this way. Now let's say uh, there's another node which I start coloring black. So let's say I color this node black. This would be similar. Let's say I color this node black, right? So now what would happen? Now when I'll color this node black, I'll again go to the upper node as I'll be traversing through the parents, right? I'll ask him that. Okay, so uh, I'll tell him that okay, there's a node at a distance one from you that is now col just colored black. 
do you have any other node or what's the distance of the other node from you that is colored black so it will say that the distance of the uh, black, uh, node which is just one uh, or the distance of the node that is nearest from me and is, and is colored black is actually one so it will say that, okay that uh, there uh, there's another node from you at a distance one that is colored black also my distance from you is also one right so that means for you you have two nodes at a distance one one each so in total all those two nodes would be at a distance two right so in that case it will say that i can update my answer with a value two cool and also when i'll be performing this operation i'll al always be updating the value of distance black for the parents so for example when i'll reach here so it won't matter because the distance uh, distance black was already set to one however let's say for this let's say this was my tree right and cool so over here this was a, this was a node that was colored red, uh, black and i started moving over here right so it will say that do you know a black node right it will say i don't know so it will give okay keep a distance of one distance from a black node equal to one i'll it, i'll ask him that do you know a black node it will say no so i'll say keep a distance black node equal to two right so that is the drill i'm going to do i hope that's pretty clear uh, it it will become more clear as uh, we'll start progressing through the solution itself but i hope but i hope till the time whatever i've said over here makes sense and that's exactly what we are going to do in the solution also so let's start with the solution per se the solution is fairly simple if not too simple it's kind of simple all, all the only thing it requires is the knowledge of dfs so initially i'm just taking the input so that's pretty simple i'm not going to explain how to take the inputs cool after that what i'm saying is that i'll maintain a uh, maintain a uh, you can say adjacency graph i'm just calling it g so it's a graph that i'm maintaining that's the standard way of populating a adjacency graph or a adjacency list i'm doing that then i'm taking a vector parent the ve uh, vector parent would actually store the parent of the ith node so the ith value would actually denote its parent the parent of the root is definitely equal to minus 1 so i'll write that minus 1 and then i'm also uh, using a dfs the only uh, utilization of dfs over here is in order to populate the parents so i'm just populating the parent using the dfs so that's the uh, that's the entire role for dfs over here after that what i'm saying is that the minimum distance right now the minimum distance between any two nodes or any two black nodes initially is can be any value right let's set to it, let's set this to be a infinite value or uh, over here even n plus 1 would be a kind of infinite value because the n is the num total number of nodes so n plus 1 is kind of a dummy value that is bigger than the maximum possible value right then i'll be populating a, a vector that is the minimum distance from black node no no now for uh, this is the vector that actually contains for for each vertex let's say for a vertex i what is the nearest closest black node from it cool after that i'll start traversing for all the loops so i'll be going through the loop uh, like vertex 0 to n however i don't want to print the value uh, i only want to print the value for the n minus 1 operations right so I, initially i was considering that the vertex c not is already black so over here that's that's the reason i actually made a check that if my i is equal to, i is greater than or equal to 1 only then i'll be printing the value now let's look at the heart of the question or what this loop is actually doing so i hope this is clear initially i'm taking a level so level is basically the distance of from the current node or the node i'm just going to make black right so initially it would be zero because i'm standing at the same node and then the uh, node i'll be standing at is equal to v, uh, v of i right after that what i'm saying is till the time my level is res less than the minimum distance because if my level actually becomes greater than or equal to minimum distance or in other terms let's say from a node i have already traveled greater than or equal to minimum distance then it doesn't make sense because whatever val value i'm going to compute is going to be greater than minimum distance right so since at every iteration we just need the minimum distance so this operation is no longer useful to me so i can break the loop whenever this happens and my node should not be equal to minus one now when would the node become minus one the node would only become minus one when i've already reached the root right and i'm trying to access the parent of the root now now since the parent of the root is denoted by a dummy value that is minus one over here you can see so th uh, that's when i want to break cool so this is a c out i used earlier to, to debug a uh, debug you can uh, like ignore that then i'm saying that the minimum distance is equal to minimum of whatever the minimum distance value was that's obvious or the level so the level is basically the distance of uh, of the uh, current node from the node that is just painted black right cool or the level plus the minimum distance of uh, from black node of the current node so this would actually mean that level denotes the newly uh, newly painted black node and minimum distance for the ith node would mean 
that what was the nearest node uh, before this particular operation that existed and was colored black from this node right after that i'll also update the value of minimum distance from black node that would be the minimum distance is all already had or the current level then i'll uh, update my node value because i'm traversing from parent to parent so i'll update the node value to be the parent of current node and i'll also increment my level so level basically is the distance from the node that is just colored black so yeah that's it that's the heart of the question so after doing that i'll uh, for every iteration i'm actually updating the minimum distance as well so in case i would uh, for by coloring the current node i uh, or or the ith node black i was able to get a minimum distance so that would automatically be stored over here so if my i is greater than equal to 1 then i'll simply print minimum distance and then i'll return cool that was it so uh, my advice would be that whenever you are tackling such questions and you see complicated tags like uh, um, centroid decomposition it's good if you uh, want to go through all of those stuff but most of the time it's not actually required because there's always or most of the times i'll not say always always is a wrong statement over here but a lot of times you'll see uh, easier solutions to such problems cool that's for the uh, that's it for the video if you still have a doubt let me know you can join the discord server i'll definitely have some discussion regarding this over there as well cool guys that's it from my end thanks a lot for watching this video bye bye